Hi, I'm Chad with White River Seed Library, and it's that time of year again where it's hot, but the days are getting shorter, and it's about time to save some seeds. And I would love to show you just how I save tomato seeds. Um, I've got two, two uh, varieties here. I've got a beefsteak, and I have got a German pink. So real quick, um, I'm going to start with the German pink, and I just cut it in half and quarters. And you just want to be able to get to those seeds in there. And you just squeeze it out. Get all those good seeds into the bowl. You're going to want to get um, the big chunks out, just kind of have just the seed mixture that's in there. Scoop them out real good. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the beef steak, but I can show you real quick what that's going to look like. And then I take about the same amount of water and I just pour it over the seeds. Try to get most of the chunks out. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll take a cover and just loosely put it over the top. And I'll just let this sit for about three to five days, and you'll open the lid back. I don't close it tightly, I just leave it loose, and you'll start to notice what looks like a, a, a mold or something growing on top. That's what you want. We want to ferment these seeds just for a short amount of time. Uh, and then once that uh, happens, the mold is here, then we're able to go to the next step. So I'm gonna just come back in a few days and show you what that looks like. Okay, it's been five days and the seeds have started to ferment. And if you look in here, you can see it. You can smell it and they're ready to be rinsed and dried. So I'm going to go ahead and just dump them in. Give them a good rinse. Rinse this out. all the seeds back in there and you'll notice they're just kind of floating in there but most of them have settled to the bottom and if any seed floats to this to the top just throw that one away that's not a good one on to the next step if you notice if you look in there you still have some stuff floating on top if you put a little water in it I don't know if anybody's been gold panning, but that gold settles at the bottom and you just kind of shake it. And that bad stuff just kind of comes right off the top. You can do it a couple times. Let them settle to the bottom. And just, just dump the bad stuff right off on the top, just like that. There we go. Rinse them one more time. And if you notice, all that jelly-like substance that's on the tomato has been cleaned off. And we've got a couple varieties here, so make sure before you do anything, make sure you label them. So I've got another uh, tomato uh, variety we're going to do. But wherever you put them, whether it's a, a screen or whether it's a, a, just a paper towel like this to dry them, um, make sure that they are labeled. So that was my German pink. I'll just kind of get them out of here.
There we go. And just kind of thin them out a little bit. They kind of clump together. And just thin them out a little bit. And I'll put a paper towel right on top of this. I'll put it um, just out of the way. Um, preferably not in direct sun, but not too hot, not too cold. Just in your house somewhere out of the way so you don't lose them. So the plates are labeled. Uh, and then they'll be dry enough for you to put them in a seed packet or in um, a plastic bag.